Well, we are at Suvarnabhumi Airport and exactly at the fourth floor. And it's really sad to be at this floor while you are departing Thailand. Good morning guys, good morning from Suvarnabhumi Airport and welcome back again into another vlog from Live Love Thailand. So as you heard today I'm not living anywhere, today I'm here with my friend, he's living Thailand and he has a big issue, overstay. I'm gonna tell about it later. Now since we are waiting him to pass the immigration and see what will happen, I'm gonna update you from Suvarnabhumi Airport and tell you things that you should know if you are coming to Thailand soon. So how is the situation guys at the airport in the low season? By the way, this is new at the departures floor if you want to take coffee, some snacks. Last week I have updated you about the situation from Chadu Chak Weekend Market and as you saw the weather is crazy but against all odds Bangkok is so busy. Now today we are at the airport and what I saw along the way that also the airport is busy now we are entering september and september is the most rainy season now in the morning it was raining heavily and you can see now the weather is much better this is one of the good things that in thailand if it rains especially in bangkok it rains maybe a couple of hours and later the weather is totally different so i have got this question a lot concerning the weather if it's a good time to visit thailand well no problem as i said if it rains it rains a couple of hours and later everything is okay these boards are so helpful as you can see checking counter row a row b row c and these are the airlines so you can check here how much time you can wait seven minutes for thai airways seven minutes for via jet airways now all in all guys the service at suvarnabhumi airport is so fast at the arrivals and the departures lately we came from international trip and it was so fast to check out and claim our baggage the only problem is that if there are lots of planes arrive at the same time then it will take too much time to take your baggage if you are unlucky Now along the way guys, as you see, they are wrapping their travel bags. It's only 200 Thai baht and it's cheap. It's better to wrap your bags if you are traveling, especially international flights. But last time we had a problem because we wrapped our bags and paid around 600 Thai baht, three bags. And later we had an issue inside the bag. So we had to unwrap, check the item and later wrap it back again. My advice to you, if you are going to wrap your bags, check the items inside your bag, check the weight before you wrap the bag. So that's so important, unless you are going to do it again. Well guys, my friend just texted me and told me that after explaining the issue of overstay, it was around 10 days everything went okay he paid some fine and now he is on his way back home never ever overstay guys this is really serious always check your dates your visa extensions and don't overstay because it will cause you a lot of problems now of course if you overstay a couple of days things can be solved by paying fine but it could cause you problems once you come back. So never do that. Now I get this question a lot. Public taxi or the airport link? The answer is so simple guys. If you are a light traveler, not too much luggage, then take the airport link. No problem, because at the airport thing, you are going stairs up and down, you're gonna walk. So if you have lots of luggage, that's a problem. And if you are a family, lots of luggage, then take the taxi, it's much better. As you know, the taxis at the public transportation floor is on meter and no problem, 
no scams but you have to know this rules that if you have more than two bags for each person then you are going to pay 20 baht for the third bag and also if you have bicycles big items then you might pay 100 Thai baht for each item If you want to take buses also they are available at the public taxi floor but they are from 8 a.m. in the morning till 8 p.m. in the evening the taxis are available 24 over 7 and if you want to take the airport link it's available till midnight so if you are late later than midnight then you have to take the public taxi that's the only way Now the buses that takes you to Pattaya, Huahin, Ayutthaya, these buses are available every hour. So no problem, if you are late, you can wait one hour and you can take the next bus. This is also at the public transportation level. Many people ask me if you can buy the SIM cards at the 7-Eleven because as you know at 7-Eleven the SIM cards are cheaper rather than buying at the arrival floors. So you have a 7-Eleven at the airport link floor but I think SIM cards are not available. Anyway, let's check it. So if you want to buy SIM cards, you cannot buy it from 7-Elevens. You have to buy it either from the arrival floors or you can buy it also at this floor, which is the airport link floor, but not from the 7-Eleven. Exchanging money. The rates at the arrivals are 32 and the rates at the airport link level It's 34.62 as you can see big difference. So don't rush don't exchange at the arrivals floor always go down To the airport link floor and exchange there because the rates are much better Also at this floor you have many other services like hotels or if you want to leave your luggage starting from 100 Thai baht per piece. So mission accomplished, my friend now is in the plane and of course I have updated you about the latest from Suvarnabhumi airport. So if you are coming to Thailand. Welcome, thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.